Hi guys. Today's video is about brushes. The brush tool is used to draw freeform parts that resemble brush strokes made with various types of media such as paint brushes, pens or markers. So let's learn how to use it. To bring the brushes panel, go to window and you can find the brushes option sitting there. The shortcut to bring it is F5. Here you can find the different categories of brushes. You can also find the panel sitting on top here from where you can access the same menu. To apply a particular brush pattern to your shape is very simple. Let's pick the type tool and let's have some text thrown onto the screen. Let me enlarge the text. Now, with the text selected, if I click a brush here, you'll find nothing happens. And nothing happens because our text is not a shape yet. To convert it into a shape, let's right-click the text and select the Create Outlines option. And now when we try to add a brush pattern to our shape, it is going to accept it instantly, as you can see. Now, when we pick a brush from here and use the paint brush tool and then draw, you'll find it draws the pattern perfectly. Use any other brush and draw and it will draw like a charm. You can even thicken the stroke size of the brush from here. Now, you can remove a brush stroke from a path at any time. To remove a brush stroke, first of all, select an object that has a brush applied to its stroke. Then on the brushes panel, click the remove brush stroke icon on the bottom of the panel and it shall revert to its original form. Let's try that with our text here and it shall revert to its original form. You can even click drag a particular stroke and drop it to an object within the selection to apply it. And it shall be applied to just that part of the selection, as long as it is standing alone. Let's try another size and drop it to letter S now. So you see how simple it is to apply these brush strokes. Let's undo the last two actions. I hope you remember that when you want to apply a particular brush to the entire selection, just click the brush and it shall be applied to your selected object. To get into the stroke options of the selected brush, click this icon at the bottom of the brushes panel, which will reveal this pop-up menu. From here, you can update the roundness of the brush. Oops, let me check the preview button first. You can increase or decrease the roundness of the brush. You can increase or decrease the stroke size. And even change the angle of the brush. These options on the right are used for different purposes. Fixed option means that the property will remain constant throughout the stroke. So the thickness of the stroke will not change regardless of how fast you draw or the pressure applied with the stylus. Next, if you set the size of a scatter brush to random, each instance of the scatter object will be randomly sized along the path, creating a more natural or chaotic effect. Pressure is used with the pressure sensitive drawing tablet, so the property will vary based on the pressure you apply with the stylus. Stylus wheel is for some advanced drawing tablets that have a wheel on the side of the stylus. Through this, you can control the property by turning the wheel on your stylus as you draw. Tilt responds to the tilt of the stylus on a pressure sensitive tablet, so you can set properties to change based on the angle at which you hold the stylus. Bearing allows you to flip the brush tip, which can affect the direction or appearance of the stroke. And rotation allows the brush to rotate based on the direction of the stroke or the rotation of the stylus. We're going to stop here for now. 
and continue talking about brushes in the next few videos since there are different types of brushes we need to talk about so i'm going to see you in the next one also don't forget to hit the like button and please share the video and subscribe to my channel and i shall be with you soon until then goodbye and thanks for watching